What is up everybody and today I have another video of me being on the internet using stuff instead of talking about Levy today and I might just start making response videos not react just response videos so today uh, I it's been on my dashboard for like I, I don't know I mean on my YouTube dashboard it's been here since the 11th the past couple days this growth score thing has been here and because I've been watching a lot of league content anything league related is going to be dumped on my dashboard on YouTube. So essentially, I was watching this video and it wasn't up until about like the eight minute mark. Uh, Growth score goes ahead and says that he has a bipolar disorder. In the meantime, uh, up until now, when he was saying everything he was saying, I was like, nope, wrong, because he said ADHD. And then he was like, oh, I'm depressed. I want to kill myself. I was like, nope, wrong. And then he said like anger issues. I was like, nope, wrong. He kept saying all these different things. And I'm not really aware of how old growth score is, but I'm 20 years old as of July 3rd, 2016. Now, as a 23 year old with common sense, not offensively to you to growth score, but there is a couple issues that I have with this video. And I mean, I might as well watch the rest of the video, but I'm going to stop it just here. And from now on, maybe I'll start like watching the video live and give my live commentary. Like, hey, I'll watch. Advise me. That's my free choice to take it or not. But she advised like, me. Like, A, like he's his free choice to take it or not. Maybe I'll give just my response on that. My response to this video so far, what kind of upsets me is I was watching Growth Score just a little bit. This is one of the only guys that I enjoyed watching on League. I don't really watch a lot of other pro players because they're incredibly cocky and a little bit annoying. And I'm starting to find out that even Growth Score is cocky as well. So I'm not really liking him. I just like TF because I guess some of the plays he makes are a little nice to watch and shit. Someone that I'm really enjoying watching now is definitely, uh, I just saw one video by him today, so I'm gonna check out Dyrus. But in the meantime, it's gonna be a response video to Growth Score. Now, firstly and foremost, I'm a little upset with Growth Score because I could be incorrect, okay? I could be incorrect and I'm subject to being incorrect. So if you have more information, you're more than welcome to go ahead and comment down on the uh, bottom of the video. But essentially, Growth Score explains how uh, lately he's been feeling out of himself and this and this and that. He's even contemplating killing himself a couple times and he has these anger issues and he has trouble focusing. Basically, he's explaining multiple symptoms that he has. ADHD, anger issues, essentially, and... Um, what I, as a, uh, I, I took, I took in a couple classes, I guess, not classes, I said, well, yeah, I guess I took a class in high school. It was called peer counseling and I learned quite a bit of things outside of that. In my free time, I go ahead and I research on, uh, there's a book, I forget what it's called right now, but it's a list of all the mental disorders and their symptoms. So you can enlighten yourself and, you know, knowledge yourself a little bit with something that might be important to your life, especially if a family member is going through one of these problems. So after he's saying, Hey, I have all these highs and ups, I have difficulty sleeping. I have these depressive moods and stuff like that. I was like, already, already in my head, I was like, bipolar, easily bipolar. And then he shows this box of medication and he shows that he's taking mood stabilizers. Like, yeah, this is this is bipolar, easily put. The only problem that I have with this video is a problem that I have with the whole diagnostic of mental illnesses. And I'm gonna go talk about Tumblr girls for a second or whatever the fuck you wanna talk about. But essentially, there are a lot of people that go ahead and get diagnosed without having the proper diagnosis. In the same case that there are also children, teenagers, and in front of the screen right now, an adult that is also getting diagnosed. But I don't feel like it is just I don't, he shows a receipt that he pays. Oh, well, look at me. I spent $300, right? I don't think it's just to go ahead and spend $300 and in an hour and a half get diagnosed. I was also diagnosed with things in the past because of the fact that I ended up going to a youth mental health ward for my own personal problems. But essentially, I don't feel like it's justified. I don't care if you're a psychiatrist or anyone else. I don't care if it's justified to go ahead and diagnose someone with something that's going to have them on medication that's going to affect the chemicals in their brain. Essentially, a great example of why I make this video is because we have seven-year-olds that get diagnosed with ADHD. And I had a teacher in the past explain to me where he had a student in his class when he was teaching. He had a student in his class that would never sit down in his chair, was always up, could never like hold his tongue. He's, he was just, like constantly talking, constantly jumping around, never listening. He was an incredibly hyperactive child. So they thought he had ADHD. In turn, what the teacher did is he made a rule with the child where essentially if he were to go ahead and study or work for an hour's worth of time in class and just focus, then every hour he would give him five, 10 minutes of recess where he could go outside, 
play, move around, and get the extra energy or the excess energy out of him. I feel like there's a proper way to deal with situations, and shoving someone a box of pills after a one-hour diagnosis is not really the smartest thing to do. Essentially, the reason why is because, if, for example, if you're taking pills for ADHD or if you're taking medication for bipolar or severe bipolar, he explains severe bipolar disorder, and he's taking mood stabilizers, if in fact you are not a severely diagnosed uh, or you or if you don't have severe bipolar disorder you are mistreating a patient you're now taking mood stabilizers when you should not be taking mood stabilizers now me and growth score have only shared a relationship for I don't know a couple months now probably since today so I'd like to say about three months and I don't know growth score I don't watch him on twitch I don't know anything I've just seen a couple of his videos I know nothing about the man except for what that man has shown me now what have I seen from him is that prior to him getting banned from twitch none of this shit ever existed i could be wrong i could be incorrect because maybe this happened on stream and i've never seen it but essentially on stream i or not on stream on video i've watched whatever videos i have watched i have never seen him talk about suicide i've never seen him talk about all these other things i did in fact see a video of him saying i'm gonna quit league of legends and this was sad to speak in terms related to how much money he is now making on twitch he wants to live a luxurious life he wants to have all the money he wants to have the women he wants to have the car he wants to have all these different things right that's what he wants and he cannot do that through hitbox you can only do that through twitch so essentially the depression or rather i need to make a video i don't know if i have or haven't already because i'm just not keeping good track of my videos i have like 500 plus of them i want to make a video explaining depression versus depressed now i can not guarantee you but i feel i personally feel this is my opinion that if growth score was on twitch what he had said with crepo did not exist and he had continued streaming as one of the most viewed viewers on uh league of legends one of the most viewed channels on twitch this would not happen he would not have went to a psychologist. He would not have pushed for mood stabilizers. He would not have pushed to something to help with his mood. And it just really upsets me. Like I was watching this video and I was starting to get a little bit upset because if this man was still on Twitch, in my opinion, again, if Gross Score or whatever his name is, was still on Twitch, if he was still making the same sum of money, he would not have pursued a psychiatrist. He would not have done all these things. It would have pursued medication, pursued making a public video saying I've been diagnosed with another thing. And part of the reason this upsets me and I actually like this dislike bar is because I don't like people coming out with diagnoses in such a rash manner if you've had a therapist for an extensive period of time and they clearly understand you then yeah i don't mind if you get a diagnosis i don't mind if you have someone that's been thoroughly working with you a professional for that matter that truly does understand or certified professional that's what i want to call it a certified professional for example are you gonna hire um are you gonna go get your next door neighbor to perform a surgery on you that's that's not how it works. He's not he's not like a certified surgeon, for example, right? Everyone has a practice, and it's cool that this person is certified. But I just I am personally against. This is my own personal vendetta, whatever you want to call it. I am personally against psychologists and more importantly psychiatrists, because psychiatrists are the ones that give you the medication. Psychologists are the ones that make the um, diagnosis, for example. So I feel like you need to work with not only a psychiatrist, because he said, I only went to a psychiatrist. He has not been to a therapist. He has not been to a psychologist. He has not had a thorough investigation of his actual problems. Now, I don't know if he brought up, hey, I started feeling depressed because as far as I'm aware, as a viewer, I have never seen gross score speak in this manner on stream or anything or any of his videos that I've seen. So did he bring up the fact, hey, I'm only starting to feel this way after I started losing my money, after I started losing my Twitch partnership, after I was banned from playing League of Legends, essentially. Did, did he write the actual, I'm thinking about the other guy, the, the baldy. What's, what's, who's the bald Geodude guy? The fucking, uh, Tyler One. He was not banned from playing League of Legends. He was just um, banned from Twitch altogether. So, essentially, he has a loss of income. Now, when he says I want to kill himself, I guess that's rash. But at the same time, when you're in, when you're in a um, a lapse, I guess a lapse of depression. I, I guess we can call it a lapse of depression. When you're in a lapse of depression, clearly you're not gonna think straight. He's already stressed out. He's losing money. He's getting a lack of sleep. All this can factor into other things. Now he also explains in the video that his father has a, I believe, uh, schizophrenia as well as a split personality disorder. Now, I don't know, and again, I'm not a certified professional, so maybe that isn't for me to say, but at the same time, 
when you have a father that has blue eyes and a child has blue eyes, yeah, blame it on the father. But when the father has schizophrenia and the child has bipolar disorder, I feel like that just that's not consistent, essentially. And again, if you really want to pursue this, you should spend an extensive period of time, not show up a receipt that says, hey, I spent three hundred dollars and I have this. No, 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 no. All I want to know is if we had a time machine, if I took Growscore back to Twitch before he fucked up with Crepo and everything else, if he continued doing Twitch and it was totally fine, would he be making this video right now? Would he be saying, I got to pursue a diagnosis? I, I don't, I, I don't know. I really don't. So that's really all I want to say. Uh, this video is a little less targeted towards Growscore and a lot more targeted. I am strongly strongly against not uh, well first of all self-diagnosis i'm strongly against that but that's not why i made this video but i this this is an empathy factor i've actually handled the same situation where a uh psychiatrist went ahead and evaluated me except that psychiatrist evaluated me in about 10 minutes she knew nothing about me she knew nothing of my family history she knew nothing and in 10 minutes she had a diagnosis now gross on the other hand spent 325 pounds for an hour and a half now the cool thing is that he explains that the psychiatrist also wants a follow-up session with his sister to meet his family and learn more about him well if you don't even know that much about him why are you already diagnosing the man like why are you already she literally gave him the diagnosis the same day so that the same day he could take medication she literally diagnosed him with medication the same day but says hey i want a follow-up session to say i want to make sure that i didn't fuck up on this diagnosis so this is more or less di directed towards uh incorrect diagnosis or mal malpractice is an awesome word I'll, I'll just use the fucking word malpractice right now uh this video is more directed towards a psychiatric malpractice but we're gonna target it towards gross score for clickbait so have an awesome day guys i know i'm not streaming at the moment and whenever i do i will i apologize my home situation is a little fucked up at the moment until then i'll see you guys when i see you guys